Hey everyone, this is Archon Matrix, welcoming you back to part 17 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This will probably be up uploaded on the same day as episodes 15 and 16, due to there having been no videos in the past week or so. But this will be the last of those videos, I'm only probably going to post three videos today, just... Yeah. So anyways, in the last episode, we saw that there's this fire here. And what are we going to do about that? Whoa, lag, lag, major lag. Oh, uh, so... As you probably just saw, shooting, uh, shooting a bullet, and it didn't work. Um, will Deku Nuts work? No, not really. So what you actually have to do is shoot that eye with a bullet. With a bullet. And if I can just aim this right, it's hard to aim, kind of. But I got, ugh. What, what was that? There was like a mini burp inside of me that didn't make quite make it, but maybe go, ugh, or something. So anyways, that got rid of the fires you saw, and we just hopped right across. What you, and in this room, there's a bunch of baby Dodongos. I just like to kind of avoid them. Ow. And come over here to the door. I don't know what the purpose of the hallway is, but now we're here. Oh my god, these guys are back. What are they doing? Okay. Dude, I'm right here. Don't, don't go looking over that way. I'm right here. Okay, so you, you want to just basically the same strategy with these guys again. Except don't let him hit you. And he'll hop away. And then that guy. Or. Oh, these guys. Uh, let's see. There. He came to me, yay. Oh my god. Oh my god, you, you stupid asshole. You stupid asshole, stop doing that. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm failing at this harder than I've ever seen. Harder than I've ever seen anyone fail at anything. But I got it. Now this guy's gonna come. Come on. Come on. Stop hopping up and down. You're not a frog. Well, maybe you are. I don't know. You're some kind of weird lizard. I believe you're Zelfos. I believe Navi can tell us that actually. Yes, you are the Zelfos. Oh my god, I stopped walking. Stop. No, fo you're on. You're L targeting the wrong one, dude. Dude, 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 don't die. You're not gonna die here, are you? Oh my god, I'm dying. If I get hit one more time, I will die. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna has me some milk. So let's set that to that button. I'm gonna have this milk and you can't stop me! That's right. And I still have half a bottle left. What now, bitches? What now? Anyways, uh, do they can even get these guys? I've never tried it. Let's, okay, come over here. Get over here. And die. Hey, they do. Awesome. You die. I suppose it's easier to hit with your sword, but that's more fun too. Oh, uh, he dropped bullets. That's very nice of him. Um, if you're very careful, if you need some recovery, like I kind of do, I lost half a heart, which would have killed me a minute ago. And I didn't have a fairy, so I couldn't have been brought back to life, so it would have been game over. But if you're careful not to fall, because if you fall, you'll end up back in the room where you fought those guys the first time, you can get some free recovery over there, which is always nice. Oh uh, yeah, there's a nice little lava waterfall there. A, la a lava waterfall. Hmm. A lava fall? I don't know. So anyways, these guys, that guy, those guys, these guys, that guy, those guys, yeah. We're actually pretty much the mini boss because through this hallway after you hit this eye, and after you hit this eye, yeah, kind of tricky. I don't know, I clearly missed that, but apparently I hit it, so whatever, I'll take it. But yeah, those guys were the mini boss because they were technically guarding the dungeon item that we're just about to get here. So anyways, you can come up here and open the chest, and just like the compass and dungeon map and slingshot, we get epic camera angles, epic music, and we get, surprise, bomb bag. This, this is a bomb bag. This is a bomb holding bag it is made from a Dodongo's stomach. You found 20 bombs inside. Whoa, what luck. What a lucky guy. That's probably my favorite line from this entire game. Just what a lucky guy. Yeah. So now we can make things go boom with the bomb flowers. Um, as you can probably see down there. Oh, let me get a look at this. There's a blow up pool wall there. And behind it is a chest, which contains, I'm not sure what it contains actually, but I think it's just rupees or something not very important. So I'm not going to bother with it, because it's a big pain to get back up here after you've done that. 
I hit that switch, and that causes this big thing to decide to bloom. Bloom? Yeah, whatever. Uh, with this switch on, the moving platform gets higher. Now you can quickly reach the second floor. Yeah. So, yeah, now you can reach the second floor very easily from the beginning of the dungeon, which is nice. Uh, this sign says, Giant Dead Dodongo. When it sees red, a new way to go will be open. So that's kind of a hint as to what you're supposed to do now. And what you're supposed to do now is head over this way. Right? Yes. Okay, yeah, head over this way, and there's this bridge here. And there will... And this bridge, there are at least several gaps like this. Actually, not several, just a couple, two. Uh, and you want what you want to do is take out a bomb and throw it into the hole. Not like that, because that was a fail. And that should have blown a hole in the bridge itself. Because wood gets... Last time I checked, wood is susceptible to explosions. Okay, that's right. And that blows up down there, and the... And the giant dead dongo is seeing half red. So now we just have to... You can try it just dropping them in there, in the holes if you want. But whenever I try to do that, I fail at it, so I just throw it. Oh, nice. Nothing but net. Nothing but net. Yeah. And now he's seeing red, so his mouth is like, Oh, I'm gonna eat you just like a Deku tree. Okay. So now that you've done that... You can hop down here, and we're actually almost done with the dungeon in you know, just three episodes. Oh my god, dude, not again! Stop that! You know what? You know what? I can kill you now. What do you think about that, huh? What now? Oh, you drop bombs, too. That's nice. I need a refill. So anyways, you can come up in here and pass this door with some more fire keys. So, as our typical strategy, we're going to set our Hylian shield on. So that we don't have to go back to that guy and buy another Deku shield. Yep, just like I said, there's fire keys. So in here, you can see that there's a locked door over here. Oh my god. Ha. Ha, ha, ha. And in, and in this area, there's a switch. So you press that switch and the door opens. What an easy room, right? Nope. You have to work to put something onto that to make it fit. To make it... To make, the, to make the door constantly open. So the only way to go right now is to climb up this ledge and go this way, it seems. And down this hallway. We're just about out of time, too. I might be able to complete this room before time's up. So you can head over here. Um, you can die. Or, or not. Just run away. That's fine, too. I, just, I don't want you to die, though, because you hit me. You made Link burn like a ring of fire. So basically all you have to do in this room is climb up here, climb up here, and hop down here. There's actually a chest somewhere in there with bombs in it, behind a blow up of the wall. But I don't really need that, so I'm getting to talk. There's actually a fairy in one of those pots, yeah, I see right there. It kind of went through the wall, that can happen sometimes. So you can put that in a ball or just use it as recovery. And what you can actually do too is after you go into that hallway, you can come back in here. And you can hit it again and there will be another fairy in there. So that's a little neat trick that some of you might not know about. So you can come around here and that basically made another loop like we did in the, f like we did the first thing in the dungeon. Yeah, basically the first thing and the last thing you do in the dungeon is to make a circle around so that you can complete a very simple task, like pressing a switch in both instances. Hmm. So anyways, you just want to pull that out a little bit. You don't want to pull it all the way to the switch, otherwise you'll fall. Dude, that's not fair. I was trapped in a corner. Yeah, is that how you play? That's cowardly. Okay. Dude, no. Not cool. Okay, so yeah, you just want to push this into the hole. Yeah, that's what she said. And that opens up the door. So, what is behind this door? Well, if you look at the map down there, you see that it is the boss behind that door. Dude, dude, not cool. This is very not cool of you. So, we're gonna go in. And we're gonna fight the boss in the next episode. Yep, we almost got done with this place, but just not quite. So... This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.